Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, January 30th. And I wanted to mention that I get some comments, uh, can you please do these before, do these the day before, whatever. The reason I don't do them the day before is because I really want to get the daily energy of the day. Okay, and for me to do that, I have to do them the day of on my time, okay, my, my uh, global time, okay. So please understand that I'm trying to get the energies of this day fully into the reading, okay. That's why you typically do not see them beforehand, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start now. I'm going to use these four decks. This is for Tuesday, January 30th. And I don't know about you, but things are really starting to happen for me, okay? I've been manifesting things, and they are coming true. So, you know, it is the 30th. Today is the day, and yesterday, and the day before, and tomorrow, to really clear out uh, what no longer serves you so that the new can come in, okay, with this uh, full moon eclipse. It's, it's time. It's time for your... Uh, wishes, dreams, desires to come into fruition. You have to release something, okay? Let the past go so this newness can come in. It's coming. The power of manifestation is high at this time. I uh, made a wish. I made a wish. And I, I, I made it public, okay? I made it public on my in my group. And within hours... It started to come to fruition. I put it into words. I put it on there. I believed. And it's on its way. Okay. So, and I'm starting to get goosebumps. So I want to let you know how powerful the, the intention is when you set it. Okay. If you really set your intention as to what you want and you believe that it will come to pass, it will. Try it. Do it. And today... Tomorrow, the next day, if you haven't done it already. Things are happening very, very fast, okay? The devil. The devil. This is the sign of Capricorn. <laughs> That's pretty amazing if you ask me. A new partner. A new partner. And you know, this reading is not for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Prince of Swords. Okay, so I just have to tell you that I set my intentions and it's it's just apt. This reading it appears that it is totally in line with what I was saying. Um, there is probably for many of you, there's a new... You're being offered something new, a new growth, a new partnership, a, a new uh, passionate experience right in front of you, okay? So take it, take it. You're being offered this newness that can really shape your future, okay? So, so take it, all right? It's like you are going through a period of... renewal but you do have to release something okay because when you see when this when this card comes up you have to release the past fully you can free yourself you can free yourself from the chains that keep you stuck okay that's why this card is here it's saying you can free yourself at any time you don't need to be chained to the past you don't need to be chained to that mindset you don't need to be chained to anything okay I feel like for many of you, there's a new partner on the horizon where there's a lot of attraction, okay? And this could be, you know, a very uh, magnetic attraction, okay? And if you're with somebody now, there could, be, um, there could be a resurgence in the relationship, a renewed passion, okay? There's been some observation here. There's been some observation. Maybe somebody's just been waiting for the right time. Right time to speak up. All right? It's really time. The time is now to be honest. Okay? To use your voice. Okay? 
and do the right thing for yourself, okay? Now we're just going to get some more. Many of you are dealing with a Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You really could be dealing with any sign at all because it really doesn't matter. Um, this card, hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show how much they love you, to prove they're with you at this time. There's been some observation. You remember I said that a, little, a few minutes ago. Maybe somebody from the other side is helping you along the way. They're helping to bring this passion to your life that you seek. There's, there, there's a new partnership or a new passion that is coming right into your life. And it could be happening today. There could be a lot of excitement, okay? This is generally a new, uh, a new sexual partner. And this is, this is very sexual as well. I'm just telling you what I see. It could be, it doesn't have to be sex. It could be in any other area of your life, but there is a, it could be with your, whoever you're with, there is a renewed passion today, okay? And it could be sent to you from above. That's what I see. Maybe somebody from above has been seeing you struggle and they know you need to release something and they're giving you that little push. They're giving you that little nudge. They're whispering in your ear, it's time, it's time, it's time, okay? So... Now I'm going to get one from the Angels Romance because I really, it's funny that I picked this deck. I don't use this deck daily, uh, for dailies, hardly ever. It's, I picked this deck and this is definitely has something to do with a relationship. There's no doubt about it. Oh, and that one came screaming out. Uh, past life relationship. You've known each other before. Okay. So there is, there is a connection here that is a very, I think it's like meant to be. There's a meant to be soulmate kind of relationship because often with the devil card, I consider that a soulmate relationship. And many of the other decks, there's two people and they're chained, you know, loosely chained, but they're chained. It's all about the decisions that they make. So I believe whoever you're dealing with, you may have known this person before and that's why you feel this connection so deeply. And there's a darn good chance that somebody from above is trying to bring you guys together. And I picked the Whispers of Love. That's so, and I have tons of decks I could have chosen from, so it's amazing. I must have sensed, which I did sense, yeah, I trust myself, that this was going to be a day of passion okay it is of reigniting passion perhaps if you're in a relationship if you're not it's a new new passion a new love perhaps somebody that some kind of connection that is undeniable let me zoom this in oh i forgot to wait my camera off i'm sorry there's a nut there's a little spot on it it was loose, so I tightened it, and I knew I touched the front, but whatever. <laughs> Anyhow. I uh, just kicked it. All right, we're good. Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. This is the truth right here. The only thing that ever lasts is the truth. Be true to yourself. Let go of what no longer serves you so that the newness can come in and just be honest. Whoever you're dealing with will love you exactly the way you are, okay? The key is loyalty, okay? Loyalty. Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. Speak up for yourself. Do what you need to do for yourself. Be comfortable doing what you need to do for yourself. Follow your instincts. Follow your passions. 
I feel like many of you are dealing with somebody perhaps on a, a new relationship where you've known each other before. And perhaps now is the right time. Now is the time. So I feel like today is a day of passion, whether it's reigniting passion with whoever you're with or a new one. When you get that Ace of Wands, that's a new opportunity for growth, partnership, excitement, expansion, and passion. And I think there's an undeniable bond with somebody that you know that perhaps somebody from above has orchestrated. Trust. Trust. So anyway, this is what I have for today. January 30th, 2018. Talk to you later.